<laughs> Sorry. We're very mean to Laura this evening. Yeah. <laughs> do, do come on again, won't you? Yeah, we love you. Uh, yeah. Now, would you give up your job to uh, follow your dream? Because that's what David Julian from Lee did. And now, instead of stacking shelves in a supermarket, he's won a place in the live show of The Voice here on BBC One at the weekend. Yeah, BBC Northwest tonight has been given exclusive backstage passes to catch up with David ahead of his biggest show yet. Peter Coulter has been to meet him. Got some words on cardboard that you picture in my hands. When David Gillian performed on The Voice singing The Man Who Can't Be Moved, he was amazed when two judges wanted him on their team. I haven't given up my job and um, uh, I'm risking everything. The, my first experience in front of the coaches was just, it just had to be the best it could be. And um, for them to turn around and to say what they said is just unbelievable. David went through to the battle rounds, taking on established singer John James Newman. Like he nailed it and got a place in the lives. But how is he finding it so far? Even though it is hard work, it's, it's my career, it's what I want to do. So it's uh, all within, within reach. why I went for David over John James is that I hear a magic quality that even as good as he was there I know there's still at least another 20 30 percent I can get out of him and that's frightening if he's that good now can you imagine how good he's going to be in a few weeks and here's a sneak peek of what he'll be singing a moment of love a dream a lie so stay there not giving the rest away as David will be performing with Team Daddy this weekend. Peter Coulter, BBC Northwest Tonight at Voice HQ in London. Best of luck to him. Yeah, good luck. It's going to be nerve-wracking, isn't it? Uh, should we take a look at the weather? She's not got a brolly with her right now, but I don't <laughs> think that's it. any kind of... Uh, Are they running the marathon? behind you. <laughs>